Did Jeffree Star lie to his fans to protect Glamzilla? Let's talk about it. This is Rich Lux with the hottest news on YouTube. Now before any further with the whole Jeffree Star lying and stuff like that, people are now calling out Manny MUA saying that he's lying. So Manny MUA tried the new viral Urban Decay foundation and he's the only person that I know that actually liked it and it worked for him. Even people in the comments had said that, which is so weird because I'm looking at Manny MUA like, didn't you go to Coachella last year with Urban Decay? So now you're like kissing their butt this year. It just, it doesn't sit well with me. I have not been this intrigued by a foundation in a long time. This is the new Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. I like the little nozzle. I think the nozzle is so sickening. It's supposed to be an everything in one foundation. It's supposed to be self-setting, basically your liquid and powder in one. So I'm interested to try this out and see what it's giving. It has this, again, like a little squeezy. You squeeze from the top. It's actually a lot thicker than I was expecting. It's not as runny. I'm just gonna pack it on with a brush. It's supposed to give us a matte finish. There's hella shades, by the way. There's hella shades, which I think is awesome. It's actually really, really lightweight. It gives really good coverage, I would say, a nice medium coverage, but it feels really light. I'm officially intrigued. I'm a little gagged. Zaya's gagged too. The fact that I did not set it with powder and my skin looks as blurred as it does. That's the part that really is getting me together. Really quickly, I'm happy to report that going over the foundation, even though it's self-setting, does not disrupt my base whatsoever. There's no pickup. It is stuck on my skin. Because you know sometimes when you powder it and you put creams on top, it can get a little like wonky, a little like, Ugh. that's not happening here. I like that. First impressions, like I'm genuinely like blown away with this foundation. Like I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do, but I really, really like it. I've had this on now for what? Like an hour and a half? Cause I was filming some other stuff too. So I'm gonna come back in a few hours and see how it's held up throughout the day. But I gotta say, I'm very, very impressed with Miss Urban Decay on this one. Like, gag. Hey guys, I'm tired. It's 11.30 PM and I'm ready to go to bed soon. I've had this on for about six hours, five and a half. Five and a half to six. Oh my God, I'm slurring my words, I'm tired. Final verdict right here. Not a single spot has broken up. I'm definitely oily. As you can see, there's oils that have like come to the surface, but I don't really mind it. I think it still looks amazing. There is no breakage whatsoever. Look how close I am. And you obviously see there's no filter. I have no breaking, like none. And any spot that would have breaking, I don't have any. We are on to something here, Miss Urban Decay. You guys truly did that. Again, if you are dry, I'm not sure how this is gonna go for you. Actually, if you're dry and you've tried this, please sound off in the comments below to help the dry girlies out. If your combo oily has skin like me, I think you're gonna be obsessed. Like truly, I'm so blown away with this foundation. Okay, you guys popped the fuck off. Y'all popped the off. Truly. But Jeffree Star actually reviewed that same foundation and gave it a negative review. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another makeup review. How are ya? What is on the chopping block today? Oh honey, the eclipse just happened. There's a lot of energy in the air and it's time to try a new foundation. So we are diving into, this name is kind of iconic, the Face Bond New Foundation from Urban Decay. So I was recently at Sephora. I bought two shades. The employees, um, they shade matched me. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Now this is supposed to be a waterproof foundation. 24 hour wear. It's supposed to self set and you don't need powder. That's a big claim. So I got two shades. Now when you take it out of the box, it looks like this. What do we think of this packaging? Let's look closer. Here is a close up of the Face Bond Foundation. It looks really slim. It looks small. When you hold up a traditional foundation bottle, like baby, this looks really small, but there is still one fluid ounce. And there's one fluid ounce in here, and there's one fluid ounce in here. So it's all a little trickery of the eye. Even though there is a same amount as the other brands, baby, this feels so light. I mean, this is like squeezable plastic. I heard, Oh, 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 we got a geyser. It's giving, this is a patent pending technology. Ooh, it actually looks really dope. Water, sweat, and humidity proof, smudge, and transfer proof. Does this do it all? Okay, I'm gonna pick up my Makeup Forever brush and let's just see if this works. It says medium and buildable coverage. Oh, oh, 
Oh. Ooh, a little went a long way too. Look at that just spreading so evenly. Okay, this is applying thick. Obviously, it's maybe with this brush, but look at this. This is literally painting a mask on me. We're gonna go in with the sponge right now, but holy coverage! Drying really fast. I'm taking a beauty blender and look, it picked up the product. It did, and under my eyes was really hard to blend. I mean, the coverage is there, but baby, you have to blend this so fast. <laughs> I have anxiety! And let's try to be quicker with it. I can't believe. And this is supposed to be self-setting. No powder, you don't need anything. Can you believe that? I'm gonna blend out the rest of the face. I... <sighs> This is intense. Look at the close-up of my skin. The way that it's settled in here. I mean, I, I feel hideous. I think I look hideous. Like, I, I'm not sure my skin has ever looked this bad this year. I don't know what the problem is. This is probably one of the quickest drying foundations I've ever used. I mean, you put it on and it's drying. And I get that it says self-set. Baby, it's setting before you can even, like, blend it in. It says self-setting and it feels like just feels, it <laughs> feels wrong. $40 for this plastic packaging. There is 40 shades, which is amazing. Urban Decay always has great shade ranges. This brand is, I mean, they this brand has been around for a long time. They know how to do foundation. I don't know what happened here. I want to rip this off my face. <sighs> is it approved? Come on. The thing about Jeffree Star is he's just multi-millionaire, if not billionaire. So I tend to trust his opinions more because he's not being bought by brands. So when Jeffree Star reviewed it, he said he did not like it at all. So now people really are believing Jeffree Star in his reviews. But then now some people are starting to be like, no, I'm not trusting him anymore now. Hmm, because of what happened with this Glamzilla drama. Okay, so all this started because the other day we talked about Glamzilla made a video where she was talking about her lips being transfer proof and she had this really cool makeup hack that involved a setting spray to make it set and a blow dryer that you can go like this and the makeup's not going anywhere. Well, when she did that, again, we made this video before, so grab a snack and come on back. I'm trying to get you caught up here. People all over TikTok were trying it and it wasn't working for them. And for some people, it was working for them. Well, Jeffree Star jumped on the bandwagon. It was like, look, I've been hearing so much about this. I want to try it for myself. When Jeffree Star tried it, it worked for him. And he said that Glamzilla wasn't lying. And when it comes to makeup, some stuff might work for you and some stuff might not. They're lying to you. It's 3 p.m. in the beauty community and I'm already being called a liar. Oh baby, the girls are fighting again. What the hell is going on with the beauty community today? Okay baby, so Glamzilla, girl, what, 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 what's the tea today? <laughs> okay, now all jokes aside, there is a lipstick hat going around. Miss Glamzilla, she put on a beautiful red liquid lip. She, she dabs it. She sets it with the one size waterproof setting spray and it lasts her all day. People are saying she's a liar. Someone tested it out and called her a liar. She then refilmed another video and said I wasn't. Baby, I'm here to settle the score. Don't judge my hair, okay? I slicked it back in the shower. I was in the middle of a meeting and I got so many tags. Jeffrey, try this now. Okay, so we're here. We have the setting spray. I grabbed a red lip and I was gonna use my own and then I was like, oh no, 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 no. The girls are gonna say he's biased. So I dug through my drawers and baby, I found this Dolce Gabbana liquid lip. Let's apply it and do the exact way that they did and let's see who's lying. We're gonna go in with this liquid lip. This is the Dolce Gabbana liquid lipstick. Oh my God. And just like Glamzilla, no cuts, okay? Ooh, girl! Okay, the lipstick is applied and I just realized, of course I could cut because I'm like most everyone else, I'm not a liar. Take the paper towel, right? Okay, so there it is, there's the dab. She then takes the one size setting spray and she goes ham. Here's the true testament. It worked. Can we all shut the fuck up now? But people are now calling out Jeffree Star because they're saying that in his original video, he was using a makeup product 
that is already transfer proof. That lipstick was transfer. That's this is oh my, it's just a mess, girl. Like Jeffree Star can't win. So a couple months ago, Jeffree Star reviewed the new Dolce and Gabbana lipsticks that is transfer proof. In his video, he put it on and he was like, it works. Is Jeffree Star approved? He just didn't like the price point. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another makeup review. How are ya? Okay. What is on the chopping block today? Oh baby, I got a $42 liquid lipstick and it's by Dolce & Gabbana. We have four shades. Let's look, let's swatch, let's cry. I know, I'm not kidding. $42, what the hell? We're gonna see what this looks like. Dolce & Gabbana has a new product out. It is the No Transfer Liquid Lipstick made in Italy by Dolce & Gabbana. Ooh. Okay, what does it look like? Dolce & Gabbana, another fashion house. Oh, okay. So here's a close-up of the product. This is the Devotion Liquid Lip. It's supposed to have a precise applicator. Let's see if that's a lie. Oh, that's different. Okay, this is supposed to be infused with avocado. It's supposed to remain soft and lightweight and make sure my lips are nourished throughout the day. Baby, let's get to swatching. Okay, this is in shade Orgogola. The names are very interesting. I'm just gonna, so that was one dunk. Let's give it a swirl. We're not even gonna cut. Let's go right into it. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, she has pigment. Oh. Okay, this is one dunk, y'all. We haven't even put in the liquid lip applicator again. This is just one dunk, no lip liner. Okay, this is literally one dunk of product. Okay, let's let it dry and see if it's really transfer proof. Okay, it's been two minutes. Let's take some clean fingers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing. Let's take the mirror. She's a little dirty. Nothing! Okay. It's worked so far, let's try another color. Okay, there's three more shades, you guys. Which ones should I try next? I'm thinking this one. All right, this shade is called Speranza. Let's give it a go. And a lot of people are wondering, it just smells like a normal liquid lip. We always do the smell test, nothing weird. <laughs> nothing weird. Okay, we zoomed in a little bit. Here is Miss Speranza. Oh. Okay, do we love this formula or do we hate it? The red one went on so pretty. All right, what do we think of the shade? Let's let it dry and let's see if the nude shade is kiss proof. Okay, let's do the kiss test. Mwah. Nothing, baby. Okay, let's try on one more. The other one looks so similar, but this hot red, baby. Okay, I could try a liner, but I'm just gonna go straight in with this applicator mist thing. Ready, one, two. Oh, fuck. Oh, baby, this is red. Okay, here is the red shade. I even like it better than the first one. It's really bright, it's amazing. So, here's the four shades. We've tried the formula, we know what it's about. Now, let's give our final thoughts. All right, Miss Dolce and Gabbana. So here's the thing. The formula, it's really great. Mwah. It's transfer proof. It's kiss proof. It feels soft, but it's $42. You guys, this only has 0 0.17 fluid ounces in it. Like they could have made this way bigger. Oh my God. I know it's made in Italy. I know it's a designer product, but I just don't think I could tell y'all to go buy a $42 liquid lip when there's so many other ones on the market. So this may be a little weird, but the formula and the packaging is Jeffree Star approved. The price? Go to hell. So people are now calling out Jeffree Star and saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, you didn't do it right. You're using a transfer proof lipstick when Glamzilla in the beginning used a Make It By Mario lipstick and then she went in the second time when she tried to de demo it again with a Fenty lipstick. They're lying to you. It's 3 p.m. in the beauty community and I'm already being called a liar. Well, I'm starting to get the hang of this and 
You know I love a clapback, so this video is dedicated to the non-believers, the underachievers, the video response and deleters. Not cool, girl. It's different when it comes from the comment section. When it's a fellow creator, a beauty creator, not cool. Play well with others. That's the number 16, 7 rule in beauty. Okay, so the video that she's talking about, it, it just didn't work. My hack didn't work for her. But sis, let me show you what I actually do. And I'm going to do it in uh, real time. No cuts, no edits, no makeup, no filter, none of that. So you could really see. And hopefully this hack works for you this time. Um, don't send hate to that creator, okay? So basically, I go in with a what. I go in with a one size setting spray. This is the on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. Not up, not, not sponsored. Wish it was. And we're going in with a the Fenty Beauty. This is so good, okay? This is the Fenty Beauty Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade the MVP. This is the iconic Rihanna Red Lip. Anytime you see Rihanna with this, it's good. Oh, hold on, let me let me apply it. This is not edited and not cut, so it's gonna be awkward. Hold on enjoy that look at that now that is a freaking lipstick okay but my problem is it transfers that breaks my heart um and the reason i f i found out about this hack is because i wanted my lipstick to match my outfit but was not transfer proof and by fluke i used this and it worked so i'm gonna go in with the oh wait no I blot my lips first in that hack. I don't do anything else to it. Girl, in your video, right after you blotted, you reapplied the lipstick. That's why it didn't work, sis. Ah, try it again. I go in with a one size setting spray, then I dry it. Then here is where the ultimate test is. Is it transfer proof? Yes, it is. I guess it wasn't that embarrassing for me, was it? Thank you. Um, nonetheless, be nice. So even though Jeffree Star's method worked, people are saying it would only work because you use a transfer-proof lipstick, the Dolce & Gabbana one. So now people are saying, oh, Jeffree Star lied the house. He's lying to his fans, girl. But let me know what you think about all this drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lux with the hottest news on YouTube.